This video explains the communication setup for a Mitsubishi GS2107WTBD and a Melsec FX5U. Hello, welcome back. This is Gerd Seller from Seller Press Control Systems. And here I show you how the communication setup for the GS2107 to an FX5U works. I already opened the GT3 designer and the Melsoft GX3 works in order to get the setup done. In the, Mel in the GT3 designer we're gonna make a new project and then we just go through the new project wizard and uh, push next here. And on this screen right here, we select the GS series screen. And this is just a confirmation about the selection that we did before. And this one here is pretty important because here we want to set the controller type that we're going to talk to. In this case, it will be an FX5U, which is actually a Melsec IQ-F controller and we also confirm this with next the ethernet multi uh, the ethernet setting will be, uh, the communication setting will be pretty much ethernet multi and the uh, com driver will be the ethernet mitsubishi gateway and the detailed setting you can see right here important is the item uh, GOT communication port number 5001 we also confirm this with next here is a confirmation again and then the GOT IP address setting I'm just gonna leave it to the default setting 129.168.318 and also the subnet and the peripheral and the transparent port number we're just gonna leave in the default the screen switch is not important for this video and the screen design i always choose the stylish gray that's a pretty decent background where you can see everything and here you got the confirmation of the environmental setup and just click finish and then you're all done with that and next will be the setup in the GX Works 3 the same way we're gonna open a new project we choose the series FX5U CPU the type I'm gonna just choose the normal and not the small one and just click OK and then we're all set with creating the project and after we created a project we want to go to parameters fx5u module parameter and ethernet port <clears throat> and in this ethernet port we will type in the uh, Ethernet address, the IP address, which is the default address that is chosen by the GT Work Design or GT Designer 3, and you can see this in the control settings right here. And the IP address will be the 192.168.3.250, and we're gonna put this in as a target for the GS simple three two fifty and also the subnet with two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five zero and the default gateway we will not be needing and then we will have to go to the external device configuration the detailed settings on these three points here choose the Ethernet device, the SMLP connection module and here we will put the port number 5001 in that I show you just in the few minutes ago in the setup for the GEO 
C and we will also need the Melsoft connection and this is all gonna be in the TCP protocol and then we're all set with this setting uh, if, if we close the window it's gonna ask us on whether we want to save it or not and then here we can check it again no errors found and then apply this and in order to check it I'm just gonna write a real small program that way I can run the simulator mode and then we can just see on how it's gonna work so which is a real quick put a uh, normally open contact in there and put a coil in there that we're just gonna name the Y0 for the output zero connect this up with the lines and then we're all set on that and also we're gonna go over to the GT designer 3 and we make a small uh, screen which is right here we just take a switch a bit switch take this over here huh? put the address m10 in that i just ah oh, i forgot here m10 oh. and here we're gonna put the bit in m10 okay the style is not gonna matter too much uh, we put it on we make it green and if it's off we make it blue and also we can put a bit lamp in there to display the status of the bit itself I'm also gonna make m10 and make this both okay and in order to check the communication we make a uh, rebuild and start the debugging simulation mode and once that's done we can see this little window here that the simulation mode is running and we're gonna do the same thing over on the GT3 designer oops now I moved the whole window pardon me so here we go and after a few seconds it's up and running and then we should be able to make a small watch list with the M10 also here and now I forgot mm. I have to return this and I have to make this bit right here in alternate mode right here alternate that way we can see it better confirm again start the simulator and you will see if I push this button right here the antenna goes through here and the antenna goes also through here and the light switches from brown to green uh, to red which we just set up here and you can see the communication already works um, if the communication does not work there is also a simple way to check that respectively not check that but you can see if you got a wrong a wrong uh, information setup for the controller let's say the controller setting here is gonna be set to the FX
controller, you have X CPU and not the IQ CPU and we start the debugging the simulation mode again. We should get a fault. We should get a fault once we start the simulation mode on the GX on the GT3 designer exactly right here and this is the message that's gonna appear if the driver respectively the controller setting that one right here is set wrong so that was it for the video on how to set the communication between a GS2107 and a Melsec FX5U from Mitsubishi thank you for watching <laughs>